Hey guys, J Designs here, and uh, today I'm going to show you tutorial in Photoshop how to make an explosion effect. Sorry if the sound quality is a little weird, but my mic's kind of messed up right now. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is open Photoshop, go to File, New. You can make whatever you want. Um, what I use is usually 1600 by 900 pixels, and then hit OK. So the first thing you want to do is make a new layer by clicking down here. And you're going to go to the background layer and delete that. You'll be left with the layer you just made. You're going to go to gradient. You're going to make sure it's on black and white. And then you're going to hit the second one, which just kind of looks like a circle. And then go to reverse. Make sure reverse is checked. Now you're going to go to the middle. Hold down shift. To make sure you're making a straight line. Go from the middle all the way to the end here. And like up. And you should get something like this. Now what you want to do is go to filter, filter gallery. We're gonna to go to artistic, plastic wrap. Now I like to use uh, for highlight strength 20, detail 1, smoothness 5. You can use whatever you want, you can mess around with the settings yourself, but this is what I prefer to use. And hit OK. Now we're going to go back to filter, filter gallery. This time we're going to go to stylize, glowing edges. For edge width, I use 1. For edge brightness, I use 20. And for smoothness, I use 2. Now hit OK. And you're going to get this. Now go back to filter gallery for the last time. Now go to texture. Stained glass. For cell size, I use 2. For border thickness, I use 1. And for light intensity, I use 6. Now hit OK. Now you're going to get something like this. So now you're going to go to filter, blur, and radial blur. Now when you open this up, blur method is going to be probably on spin, and quality is probably going to be on good. So you're going to switch that to zoom and you're going to switch quality to best. Now you can make it any amount you want. Uh, I'm going to make it 75 for this. And hit OK. Now you're going to wait for it to load up. Well, it's kind of slow. Alright, there we go. Now you're going to get this cool sort of forming to an explosion. You'll see what happens. Now you're going to go to Image, Adjustment. We're going to go to Color Balance. We're going to make sure it's on Midtones. Uh, you, I'm going to make it uh, like a reddish, an orangey color by making red and yellow. You can, you can make whatever colors you want. I'm just going to, whatever you like. Gonna go, so I made red plus 52 on this one. And yellow, I'm going to make negative 55, uh, negative 53. Then you're going to go to highlights. And you're going to do the same thing, whatever settings you want. I have red on positive 54 for this one. And yellow on negative 49. Now we're going to go back to image, adjustments, and we're going to do that one more time. Now you can make these color settings whatever you want. This is just based on whatever you like. Go back to highlights, do it again. For this you don't need to make it the same numbers. You can change it up a little bit. I'm going to keep it like this. Hit OK. Now we're going to make another layer. We're going to go to... Uh, make sure your, your colors here are set to black and white as default. And go to filter, render, and hit clouds. Now you're going to have this. Now you're going to go to here and click overlay. And that should kind of merge with your explosion, adding some sort of texture in it and stuff. And uh, that's the tutorial. Thanks for watching. And uh, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think.